Um, yeah, I'm Ellie. I am the baker, maker, artist behind the Turquoise Girl Patisserie. Um, it's a high-end wedding cake business that focuses on really very much luxury cakes that are like a centerpiece at the wedding that will wow the guests and hopefully also taste very, very good. <laughs> yeah, I just got here from Germany uh, or from the, from the UK, um, learning the language. Then I studied fine arts here. Didn't really know what to do with it. Um, had other part-time jobs, was a graphic designer, and then I always used to do Christmas in July. Because in July it's cold, I want duck and glue vine, that's what I want. So um, then I make it for friends, and I'd always used to make um, a lot of biscuits with that, and decorated biscuits, and um, that's very traditional in Germany for Christmas. And um, then people ask me, wow, these are so nice, where can we buy them? I'm like, no, we're, I'm just making them for you guys. And they just begged me to please make them some more of those biscuits. And then a friend of mine asked me to make her son's birthday cake. And from then I've never looked back. I did it part-time for about a year and a half while I was doing other stuff and building up the business slowly but surely, getting to the wedding cakes. And um, now it's been about three years, roughly full-time and really just grown into the high-end um, business that it is at the moment. So seeing that I'm from Germany, I wanted to create a name that was unique, but that also had like a German remembrance memory thing for me. And so I grew up in a very small village um, at the border of the Czech Republic pretty much a forest child, I was building tree houses like nobody's business um, and obviously there's lots of forest animals and you know a fox doesn't sit quite right, a deer that sounds like a bar or a pub you know so I just thought what looks cute when eating a biscuit or a nut and it's a little squirrel you know and then the turquoise is just a color that I've always loved I've you know I've always when I, when I think of turquoise, I think of like a mysterious color. Um, so yeah, so that was the turquoise squirrel. Yeah, just the day-to-day -day running of things. I think when you're a business owner, all of a sudden you need to be a jack of all trades. You know, you think you're getting into cakes, um, yet you have to do photography, you have to do social media, you have to do emails, you have to do finance, you have to do tax, you have to do you know, shopping, going, freaking logistics, how to transport the cakes. Like there's a whole bunch of stuff that goes on behind the scenes that go into making this that before you step into that, you don't really know about that. Um, so yeah, starting this business has been a slow road with lots of curveballs and big learning, um, yeah, big learning points for me. I think I like to challenge myself with the cake. So the bigger, the better, the more insane, the better. Like if it hasn't been done before, you know, I mean, by now everything has pretty much been done, but you know, to figure out new things and how to put stuff together, that really excites me so much. Yeah, so I don't only just uh, make the cakes, I also love teaching. It's a real passion of mine. I love it when people just, you know, you can see the sparkle in their eyes when the technique just falls into place and it makes sense in their mind. And then this year I want to get into online classes. So I want to be doing some online classes, maybe, you know, see, you know, if internationally there's a market for that. And uh, yeah, take the blue hair elsewhere, <laughs> right? Cool, yeah, if you guys wanna um, see more of the stuff that I've done or um, have a look at previous projects, get a hold of me, send me an email, drop me a line, give me a phone call, you're most welcome to do that. Um, best way is by email. Um, send me an email, I'll get back to you as soon as I can if I'm not busy uh, with elbow deep stuff in batter. Um, and um, if you wanna have a look at my Instagram, Facebook or Pinterest, there are some nice cakes there for you to look at and drool over. And then um, my website has got a bit of informative stuff um, in terms of why choose a certain wedding cake, what are the kind of price points you're looking at. Um, I think that might be a best one if you're looking for like more information or something informative that might help you even if you don't go with me, but just a general feel of what a good cake should be. Um, so just a little bit more info there.